So, um, first we have um, a block on the left which analyzes the movements uh, which are detected by the Kinect. So, if you look at this screen, here is a connector to the Kinect. So, this block will uh, send to all the other blocks the data, the raw data coming from the Kinect. The data is uh, the position of ants and if they are closed or open, right and left. So then here, the, all these bunch of blocks are used to uh, treat the raw data to detect movements. So if we take, this is the right end, the, the X position of the right end. So we make a sliding mean, then uh, we delay one sample at each time, so we can uh, make a difference between one sample and the other, and detect the quantity of movement on X and, uh, and Y. Uh, and then, if the, the hand is closed, we catch the movement, but if the hand is open, we don't catch it. I mean, we don't want to we use it. Mm -hmm. We only use movement with closed hand. Then, this is the um, automata of the application. This application transforms movements of the left hand, when it is closed, uh, into a sweeping movement, left or right. Uh, I don't know if we have to explain this, but uh, it's just an automata that de uh, detects if we start the movement, if we continue the movement, or if we start and then go back, it filters uh, the movement. So here we detect swipes with the left hand closed, swipe on the left, or swipe on the right. Okay? Uh, the movement is always with the hand closed, closed be it the right or left hand. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, we have the virtual object that we want to use, which has a, a 3D rendering. So this is the connector to the 3D engine, which is here. And this is the model of the book. So in this application, the book can be opened or closed. So to, to open the book, we make a swipe on the left. And to close the book, again, a swipe, but on the right. If we move the right hand, it moves the book. So we catch the book and we move it along the X and Y axis. And this is a 3D rendering. So I think we are ready to connect it. All the Kinect stuff and the rendering are on the black PC. And ModelX is running on the, on the Mac. And they communicate uh, through the little cable. OK, move, move along your body. So you see here the state of the automata changes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, next step is to make some PDF and turning the page. <laughs> where, where is the connection to the graphical rendering of the book? It's here on the right. Here. Oh, there's a, yeah. oh I see. It's a wrapper. Yeah. It's so we send actions. Wrapper. Typically, we, yeah. we send actions uh, to the rendering engine, which are moving uh, comments or uh, either uh, opening, right. closing. Right. So. Hmm. so what's interesting here is that the model of the book is a very general model. Uh, but here, we have a mapping that uh, Transforms the general movement, generic movements detected by the application into specific actions on the book. So we see that the swipe is translated into open and close actions. Right. That's what's nice here yeah. is that uh, semantic adaptation. It also um, includes domain-specific uh, right. semantics. Right. <laughs> it's very neat. Very very neat. Yeah. You can open and close. It's not instantaneous either. So there's the simulation of the opening of the book. All right. and, and you could just, you know, by changing that state chart on the fly, you could.
totally restructure this. Yeah. Yeah. On the fly. If you would have a dynamic uh, yeah. compiler. Yeah. So that's the next step that we want to do. We want to code another application, uh -huh. which we'll use uh, in, in a different way.